Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. So this is just a quick little side video about the EGR. So I'm here busy doing the um, oil seal in the oil cooler and getting everything off, but as one part of that, I'm just gonna take the EGR valve off. So there's two fixings, one's here. Um, one's here on the back, a bit harder to see. If I just reach over, you should be able to see that one there. There we go and um, take the connector off the back and then the hard bit is getting it out so i'm going to be putting the chisel in here like i did the last time just trying to get it started and then try and rotate it and take it out i'll just take this bolt out the way give myself a little bit more room that's the turbo bracket bolt so what's uh, difficult is that it's very very tight in there I've taken off all of the bulkhead, which makes things a lot easier. So you can take off this bulkhead panel on this side, and that's not too hard to do. The center one is really, really hard, and that gives you a lot more room to get in there. And then I've also taken off the, all of the bat wing and the air filters. So clearly there's not a lot else going on. So let's get the chisel in there and see how we go. Okay, so just hammered away a little bit with the chisel there. You do cause a little bit of damage, both to the metal seal and to the housings. And you do need to clean that up, obviously, to get it to sit down, but you can see it's already started to lift up, which is how I get it started. And eventually you can get a screwdriver just under this edge or in the middle there. And as you start to push, you can now start to actually get some proper purchase and really start to see it coming out all the way. So I'll put down that and get that out. Okay, so we managed to get it out. We did mangle that corner a little bit um, and you can see the seal's still in pretty good condition and it didn't come off the engine so I'm just going to leave that in place. Um, you can see here the water pipe. So you do have to take the water pipe off. I'm going to show you that on the valve. So you do have to get this clip. It's pretty tricky. Uh, a lot easier for me with all of those parts removed. So you slide it up the pipe and then when you take the valve out that's when you pull it off the steel pipe. Same in reverse. And again, all of this is just caked up with a bit of carbon. So you just have to wiggle and wiggle and get it out. The seal looks okay. So I'm going with that seal. Don't think I've got a spare. So we'll get this cleaned up and I will just give it a quick test as well. So I did get a bit ahead of myself. I've got the EGR connected up and I was hoping I could actuate it with my scanner. Uh, but unfortunately my scanner says that you have to have the engine running um, and if I press open and then nothing happens. Should be weird, but never mind. Uh, we can try that when the engine's running. And I did try it before and it did just make the engine shut down. It said you can hear the motor running when the engine's running, but good luck with that. Okay, so we'll get that cleaned up. And then when it gets time to put it back together, I'll show you how I get that back in. All right, it's time to reassemble the EGR. So we've got the two bolts, got the pipe. Pipe goes on first before you offer it down. Reusing the O-ring because I don't have a new one. I'm reusing the um, gasket because I don't have a new one. And if it leaks, you would see some smoke puffing out. So it's kind of going to leak smoke out of there. Or if the gasket leaks, you could be seeing water leaking out from here. So that'd be what you'd be looking out for. But just looking at the mechanism like before, Clean that up. So I might put some light lubrication on there. So the way it works is this lever goes up and down and that's what pushes the valve in and out. So you can test that when it's running and you can open that up and that lets more exhaust into the inlet. So that's the exhaust pipe on that side and it lets it out through this valve here into the inlet and then it goes down through the EGR system. So this cover just clips on. So I'll put that back on, put the valve back in place and we should all be good. So EGR all back together and running fine, no problems at all. It is very tricky in the ML and the GLE to get that out. So you do have to take apart all of this dashboard. Um, so just watch the other videos on my channel and you can see how I get on with that. But the end result is if you do do that, there's a lot more room and then you can easily get that out. So best if you're doing the EGR to take out this panel and this panel, and then there's just plenty of room to lift it out rather than squeezing it out as in my earlier video. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.